What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my kitchen. Quick shout out to everybody tagging me on Instagram. I'm trying to repost as many of you guys as I can, but honestly, some of y'all don't know how to take a picture. I can't be resharing these photos when my food looks bad, man, that's bad for my image. We have a reputation to uphold here. So for future reference, check the angle, shine a light on it, maybe swipe and add a filter, bud. That's gonna raise your chances exponentially. For everyone else that's already doing that, you're doing the Lord's work, man, props to you. In today's video, we're taking another stab at Mexican cuisine. When I think Mexican cuisine, I think tacos, I think chips and queso, I think quesadillas. And if we're being honest, a quesadilla really has everything you need. Flour tortilla, lots of cheese, and some good old animal meat. The holy trinity. But the problem is they're pretty high in calories and they're as anabolic as they could be. Their anabolic potential is being squandered. But with this recipe, we're gonna change that. In today's video, man, we are making anabolic chicken quesadillas. Not only is this recipe wicked simple, it is loaded down with extra cheese, extra meat, herbs, and spices. This thing tastes like heaven. Not only is this recipe great if you're having people over, quick little grab and go, but it's great for meal prep too. And I promise you take the time to make this recipe. Not only are you gonna enjoy it, but you're gonna wake up the next morning with 10 extra pounds of mass. I guarantee it. As always, man, if you have the RJF recipe book, link in description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other one of my anabolic recipes. If you have trouble sticking to a diet, no other diets are working for you, they're too restrictive, then perhaps this book and this diet could be the thing that's the game changer for you. The thing that finally gets you to stick to a diet because no foods are off limits, we're only concerned with two things, protein and calories. It's pretty easy, I break it down in the book, you get it one time, you get every future recipe for free, man. That's one heck of a deal if I must say so myself. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Step one, grab yourself a food scale and a cutting board. The first thing we wanna get ready is our chicken. We need 448 grams of chicken breast. I am using chicken breast tenderloins for this. because These are super easy to cut up how we want them. And what we wanna do is just cut it into as many small little pieces as we can. It's gonna make our chicken cook quicker, make it way less dry, perfect for a quesadilla. You want it to be moist, bud. Moist. And once you're done trimming, your pile should look like this. And now just transfer your chicken to a large mixing bowl and then toss in a couple grams of crushed red pepper. If you don't like spicy food, skip this step. A couple grams of oregano and a couple grams of chili powder. And now just go in by hand and mix it all up. Now our chicken is seasoned and ready to go. We gotta cook it in a skillet on medium, medium high heat until it's done. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna take a can of diced green chilies, about 210 grams, I'm gonna pour it in. It's gonna add a lot of flavor, almost no calories. It's gonna really set this over the top, I guarantee it. Hit your skillet with nonstick, dump your chicken right in. And just go in with a spatula and get it all spaced out. Once your chicken is cooked through, throw in your chilies. And then just stir them in and keep cooking for a couple minutes longer. Once your chicken is done cooking, it should look like this, and we're just gonna set it off to the side. Now we just lay out two burrito-sized tortillas, and we're gonna get to building. The tortillas I'm using are approximately 200 calories, and they're a mission brand. Feel free to use whatever tortilla you want. Keep it around 200 calories, it's gonna be perfect for this recipe. Other than that, there's no rules. First thing we're gonna do is add our chicken layer right here to the bottom. Chicken layer is down on both quesadillas. That's a lot of chicken. It's gonna be extra anabolic. Now we just gotta add 168 grams of pico de gallo, which I love this stuff, guys. I think it adds so much freaking flavor and so few calories, you might as well put it on here. It's literally like adding five different ingredients at once. Now onto the cheese. We're gonna do a little blend here. We want 112 grams of fat-free mozzarella in conjunction with 112 grams of fat-free cheddar. And once you got your cheeses in the same bowl, go in and mix them up. Now all we're gonna do is go in and give each one a nice little top cheese layer. Feel free to press down a little bit if you need to because these are some thick boys. I may have underestimated just how thick these were gonna be, but hey, there's no rules in this kitchen, bud. We're gonna make the most of what we got. Now it's the moment of truth. Will this fold over? Let's see what we got. Oop, oh, man, that's a big boy. This is gonna be fun to cook. 
All right, so we got the two most massive quesadillas I've ever seen on this plate right here. The toppings are literally busting out of it. These are so anabolic. Just by you looking at this, be careful. You might end up with a full set of chest hair. So here's how this is gonna go down. We're gonna preheat a pan to medium heat, hit it with nonstick. And all I'm gonna do is place each of my quesadillas right down in here. And don't be worried if any of your stuff falls out, man. We're still gonna eat it. We ain't technically losing it. Now all I'm gonna do is let this cook between four to five minutes on the one side, and then I'm gonna attempt to flip them without everything spilling out. Can we succeed? Might be a little tough, but I promise we're gonna get her done. Hardest part's gonna be flipping this bad boy. It's so full, we're probably gonna lose something out of here, but if we're careful, we can manage it. Get up under here, right? Check it out, slowly, and ooh, look at that, baby. Bingo, that's how it's done. And boom, this is our anabolic quesadilla. This is just one of them. Remember, we made two, so this is half of the recipe right here. Now, while she's still hot, let's go in and give her a little cut test, man. Let's go right down the middle. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> this smells so good. If I grab one of my pieces right here, take a look at that, man. Spices, melted cheese, crunchy quesadilla wrapper, a little big, but that just means she's anabolic. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to sit down, pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, it's go time. Now, before we get started, it's gonna be a little spicy, gonna need a drink. Throw about half a scoop of Fondo Boss Aminos in my water. A little bit of caffeine, a little bit of aminos, a little bit of flavor. Uh-huh, ooh, give her a twist. Look at that, it turns it blue. Ah, love that flavor. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free to shipping, code RJF10, you guys know the deets. All right, final ingredient that we added to this was 140 grams of poblano and corn salsa. You might remember this from the breakfast burrito video. I love this stuff, guys. Best salsa ever, because you can't have a quesadilla without a little bit of dip in action. All right, let me pick this up. Ooh, baby, take a look at that. Oh, uh, son, I love it. To get in here, we're gonna get a nice little dip. <sighs> baby, three, two, one. Mm, I mean, for being real, you really just can't beat a quesadilla, right? Mm, especially when you got some salsa dipping sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Such a different mix of flavors. The diced chilies, the cheese, the crunchy tortilla, all that dang meat. Ooh, son. A lot of food here, boys. Get in there, and then, uh, oh, mm, mm. Like Dad always says, sometimes you just can't beat a good old-fashioned quesadilla. Mm. Mm. Not only do you gotta try this recipe, you gotta try this salsa. Salsa's a game changer. I think it would make anything good. Put this on dog food, bud. It's gonna make it good. A little spicy, turns it blue. I'm only halfway through this first quesadilla and I'm already getting full. The amount of protein we used, we had 448 grams or about a pound of chicken. That's really gonna fill you up, man. I always say that with the anabolic diet, we're eating a lot of protein. It's gonna fill us up. It's gonna keep us satisfied. Anytime you have a crazy binge, when's the last time you went out and binged on chicken breast? Yeah, no one had an answer to that, cause you never have. Your body knows when it's done with meat, bud. But sugar, <laughs> that's the stuff you eat all all day. Oh man, get a load of that one. Now that one looks perfect. Give her another dip down in here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, don't be jealous. I see you over there feeling some type of way about this. Don't, bud. I just show you how to do it. Make your own, man. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. Oh, mm -mm. This is one of them rare RJF recipes where you're getting some veggies, some peppers, some tomatoes. It's rare, but we do do it sometimes. Oh, mm -mm. Wow. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. You get a little bit of yeah. Three quarters of the way done with that. I'm, I'm full, bud. Thinking about this recipe is technically, depending on your calories and your protein goal, you can make this whole thing, split it into four meals. Because it's really filling and it reheats really well. You make this thing, you put it in Tupperware, 30 seconds, a minute in the microwave, each of these little pieces is gonna be fired right up. She's a good one. So in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly Exactly how I did, right? Every ingredient, just as much chicken, the same tortilla as everything. You end up with 1,309 calories, only 13 grams of fat, 184 grams of protein, 114 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. So basically we made two quesadillas. If I ate this entire recipe, I am only like 16 grams of protein away from my goal, which is pretty negligible. I can eat a protein bar, one scoop of protein powder, either one of those is gonna put me above my protein goal. And I'm good, man, only 1,300 calories. I could eat quesadillas all day. I can eat that other one today and this one. And I 
still have around 1,200 calories left in my day. I can eat popcorn, I can make more ice cream, I can go way over my protein goal if I want to, it doesn't matter. I always say that with the anabolic diet, there's only two things that matter. Hit your minimum protein goal, I don't care if you go over it, I don't care how far you go over it, just hit that goal and stay at your calorie level. You do those two things, you can't fail. I'm pretty full, technically, I don't really want to eat this right now, I'm pretty satisfied, I'm good. The mixture of flavors, all the cheese, the chicken, I mean, I'm good, but. but I like to finish these on camera, that way you guys know that I practice what I preach, man. Let's get down in here, get a little bit of, ooh, but um, mm. Wait, I want to use all that salsa, boy. Mm. For real, you got to make this one. You got to type on Instagram. I want to see how many of you can flip it without spilling nothing out. I didn't do too bad. That's the hardest part of this recipe. Flip it, don't spill it, and you end up with perfection, man. Look at that. I'm never eating out again. As always, man, if you have the RJF recipe book, link in description. It's been updated. This recipe's in there. Every other one of my recipes is in there. If you're trying to follow this diet and you want a handy little guide, right in your pocket, shopping list, macros, calories, everything. You really can't do better than this, man. We have expanded upon it. By the time you're watching it, we have over a hundred pages filled with information and recipes, man. You can't lose. I feel like if you invest in this and you've been looking for a sustainable diet, right, and every other one has failed, this might be the best purchase you've ever made. Hands down, man. It's changed my life. I want to change yours. And if all this is confusing and you're like, I don't know how many calories to eat, Rem. I don't know how much protein I should have, Rem. I want someone who's an expert in the field to make me a plan that I can follow, that I know as long as I do it, I don't make excuses. I don't complain. I get up off my butt and I make it happen. I'm going to see results. Well, if that's what you want, check out my site, wrenchjspinach.com. I make you a plan, bud. All you gotta do is show up and get it done. I don't wanna hear any excuses. I don't wanna hear that you gave in and went and ordered a pizza. I want you to follow it 100%. I guarantee if you do that, you'll see results, no matter what. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash thumbs up, comment anything down below. It all helps. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and until next time, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. You don't leave any of that behind, bud. You just don't.